principal of the college because we weren't 20, 21 either of us. Uh, so we had to go and have sherry with the principal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll let you. <laughs> uh, so this young couple were going to do it all really properly and she primed her parents. They were expecting him to come down on Sunday evening to ask for her hand in marriage. So they were done up in their best clothes and they had the parlour aired out, you know, and the fire was burning, and they all sat there on their best behaviour waiting. And he arrived, came round, they made him welcome, and a bit of conversation, and then they said to the girl, Go down to the cellar and get your young man a nice jug of beer, because they had a nice big barrel of homemade beer down there in the cellar. So she took the jug and went down. She didn't fall and get a hair cut off or anything like that. It's not one of those stories. She just took the jug and went down and put it under the tap and turned it on and stood there waiting for the beer to fill up in the jug. And as she was doing that, she looked around and noticed something that well, it had been there her whole life or longer, but she'd never really clicked before. Stuck in the beam over in the ceiling over her head was a rusty old axe. And the thought suddenly struck her. If me and that nice young man got married. And then we have a little baby boy, and the boy grows up and becomes a fine young man and comes down to the cellar to get himself some beer. And the axe falls on his head and kills him. Oh, what a terrible thing that would be! She burst into tears. And she stood there crying and crying and crying and forgot all about the beer. And up in the parlour, they were carrying on this conversation and discussing what they had to discuss. And Mother says, well, I don't know what's taking so long. It doesn't take that long to fill a jug of beer. Perhaps I'd better go down and have a look and see if she needs a hand. So Mum went down <laughs> the cellar to see what was happening, leaving Dad and the young man alone up there. And uh, she saw her daughter standing by the jug, filling up, crying and crying her eyes out. And she said, What does the matter? Oh, I just got to thinking. I saw the axe stuck in the ceiling. I thought. It me and him, we have a baby boy and he grows up to be a fine young man. He comes down, down here to have himself a beer and the axe falls on his head and kills him. What a terrible thing that would be. And the mother said it would be a terrible thing. And she burst into tears as well. So they both stood there, crying their eyes out. What while this beer was putting out and falling all over the floor and <laughs> leaving the young man up there with Dad trying to make conversation. And he ran out of things to talk about. He wasn't very keen on football and he didn't know what else. There were no cars. He couldn't talk about cars. They hadn't been invented. And so they didn't know quite what to talk about. And so after a while, Dad said, well, I don't know what the women are doing down there in the cellar. It doesn't take them that long. Perhaps there's something wrong. Perhaps I'd better go and have a look. So Dad got up, got down, steps down into the cellar, saw his wife and his daughter with their arms around each other, crying and sobbing. Weeping away down there. What on earth's the matter, he said. And they both simultaneously said, Well, we noticed the axe stuck in the ceiling, and then we got to thinking that if she and he they got married and they had a baby boy, and the boy grew up to be a fine young man, and he came down here to get himself some beer, and the axe fell on his head and killed him. What a terrible thing that would be! <laughs> and Dad said, Yes, it would. Yeah. <laughs> tears as well. So all three of them with their arms around each other, crying and sobbing <coughs> down there in the cellar, and the young man up there by himself. What on earth's happening? strange house and is there something terrible down there perhaps am I brave enough to go and have a look or shall I just go and, and in the end he thought well yeah, I'll, I'll go down and have a look and peered down the stairs and there they were crying away what is the matter what's, that? what's happened uh, is there something terrible can I do anything they both turned all three of them turned to him and said 
I just got to thinking that if you and I, if, she, if you had a baby boy and he grew up to be a fine young man, he came down here to get a beer and he was studying and getting the beer and the axe fell on his head and he killed him. It'd be a terrible thing. <laughs> and the young man said, it would, but it won't happen. <laughs> and he reached up and he pulled the axe out of the ceiling and threw it in the corner and said, look, can't do anyone any harm down there. I'll tell you this, uh, I don't know whether I want to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage anymore. Uh, I don't think I've ever met three such silly people in my life. <laughs> I think I'm going to go off round the world and seek my fortune. But I'll leave you with a promise. If I do find three sillier people than you, then I'll come back and I'll marry her. <laughs> whether he did or not, Joseph Jake has added a whole load of other stories on the end of that, so I go and find out. So. You'll have to use your imagination. Oh, you never know. Second half, we might do something else. <laughs> 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 <laughs>